Hello, 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 guys. How's everybody doing today? For everybody on the replay, please give us a hashtag replay and welcome, welcome. Um, for those of you that are on the live, give me a hashtag live, please. And thank you so much. Um, also, don't forget to click um, the like and follow button. Please, please, please. That does wonders for my business. Okay, let's jump right in here. Kelly's Crafts is here. Woo! <laughs> I get excited when I see people. Okay, so we're going to be working on the joy candles. I was so excited about this one. I planned on releasing it like at the beginning of Christmas, but then I thought, let's leave the best for last. <laughs> so this is one of my favorites. Wendy's here. I can't give a shout out to everybody, but I'll give a shout out to a few people as they pop on. Okay, so we've got the Candles of Joy. This is going to be a fun piece. It comes with a stand that is in two pieces. I went ahead and painted it because who wants to watch paint dry on that? It's pretty straightforward. It was just painted in Country Chic Fireworks. It's the forest green of our paint line. Okay, so this has quite a few steps. So bear with me, but I do have a plan. I think this one's going to be so awesome. So I'm going to remove all my layers and I'm going to start off by just painting my actual candles out. Hi, Wendy. Okay, so for my colors, I've got quite a few here because I want to do some blending, okay? So I'm going to start off with cheesecake. It's just kind of a creamy white. And I hope I grab some stir sticks because they've been sitting for a while. I've got popsicle sticks here. That'll work. So I'm just going to give it a stir here because we want all the goodness to come back up to the surface. Sometimes your paints will settle. Taking a break from decorating. <sighs> I haven't even started, guys. I brought down the Christmas tree like a couple weeks ago, like on November 1st, I think I put it up. And now we're getting close to the end of the month and it's still not decorated. I don't know. I'm just, I'm dreading. <laughs> I'm dreading doing it. Part of it is because we're not going to have a Christmas, you know, anybody here. Um, so it's kind of like, why decorate? But the second part, hi, Lena. Um, the second thing is that they're up in the attic and it's just a pain in the butt to bring it all down. And there's so much of it. And then there's my craft supplies that are everywhere. <laughs> but I'll get to it. I promise. I think. <laughs> You're planning to do it this week. Oh, I need to get at it. I really do. Okay, so I'm just going to take, hi Joe, welcome, welcome. I'm just going to take the cheesecake and I'm going to give it a light coat all over. And then we're going to go in and we're going to do some shading and shadowing and kind of give it a little more dimension. So I'm going to leave a little bit at the top that the melted candle will drip down on just because the glue sticks better to raw wood. Thanks for chiming in on the conversation. Oh yeah, and then crafting, right? We have our, do you have a, well, I, I've seen your orders. I know you have a big list like I do. <laughs> I know you do. I don't even need to ask. I have an endless list of things that I want to do. I'm hoping that I will get to them. We'll get as much done as we can. We did launch the last of our Christmas products up. So guys, there will not be any other new stuff coming up. Um... A few things, hopefully they don't sell out, but they might because there is some that are limited quantities. So if there's any specific ones you really, really want to get, you're going to want to jump on there. Um, but that's going to free me up some time, guys. First of all, if you order past, you know, a certain date, you're not going to get them anyways um, in time for this Christmas. So I wanted to give you enough time to get it in your hands and to get crafting. So I'm not going to keep, you know, distracting us from that by putting out new product. We will have new chocolate products that come out, but not Christmas decor. Okay. And that's just to make sure we get as much done as possible. It's also going to free up some time for me to get some crafting done and hopefully more of you, more with you guys. You can yell that by your sister for not buying them. She does shopping with you, does she? <laughs> that is awesome. So we're just going to put our base coat down. It is kind of a beautiful, creamy, like a vintage white. 
And I'm putting it on a little on the heavy side because I'm going to keep reactivating it to do my blending. And if you worry about that smoky residue coming down um, through the paint for this project, you're really not going to worry about it because we kind of want that aged look, or at least that's what I'm going for. <laughs> you're still getting it, whether it's this year or next. Yes, go ahead and do that because next year there's no guarantee these projects will be back out because if I get seeing too many new ideas, of course things will change. I know that some of you have bought stuff from last year and and you guys have messaged me. Do you happen to have any pics left of what this one looked like? Some of them I do, some of them I don't. So that's another thing. Um, the finished pictures that I do post. Guys, if you didn't get that project done this year, make sure you take and save those pictures because I can't possibly save everything. And Facebook keeps deleting stuff. I love Facebook, guys. It's my favorite place to hang out here. But I keep losing videos off there. What can you do? Okay. So that is my base coat done. It's soaking into the wood a little bit. So I'm just going to touch up what's soaking in. But I think we're pretty good here. Okay. I'm going to get this out of the way. The stand out of the way. Because I will splatter something on it. Oh, you still have a list from last year. Oh. Yep, tis the life of us creatives. <laughs> Never enough time. Okay, I just got white on my actual flame, but that's going to be okay. All right, maybe I should do the wicks in that color too. Let's bring it up and do a little bit of that on the wick. And I kind of want my wick... To have it on the edges as well. The candle part I don't mind the darkness because it's supposed to look old but my wick should look pretty healthy. And of course I'll have to paint the backs after because the way I'm painting right now and setting them back down and moving them I know I'm gonna have splatters on the back. But you can either sand that back after if you want the plain wood or you can just paint the whole back. Yes, I showed Brittany it and she said it is definitely on the list. It will come out. Um, it's not Christmas, so it can wait a little bit, but not too long. Brittany is actually working a lot of hours right now at the restaurant. So she's not going to be with me much next week. If I'm lucky, I will get one day with her. So it is probably going to be launched the week after. But yeah, she absolutely loved that one. Okay. So I'm just going to get this color out of the way. And then I'm going to go one shade darker. Hi, Mary. Welcome. So one shade darker is my... Actually, it might be two shades darker. Yeah, it is. Um, my road trip. And it's kind of like a almost yellowy beige. to stir this one. Oh, I definitely need to stir that one too. Wasn't quite as bad, but oops, there we go. I'm making messes. All right. So I'm going to grab a little thin brush. So it's kind of like a probably quarter of an inch to it. And I don't want a whole lot on there, but, and I'm going to drag it down Kind of like so. In no specific order, but it's kind of to give me dimension, okay? And I'm going to do that to all three. Part of this will be covered up because I have plans to decorate these candles too. Got a little fleck of something there. There we go. Take 
that up a little bit higher there, I think, in the same way over here. We'll take that one up a little higher. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my original. We do have Black Friday, but apparently not like you guys do. I seen posts this morning of people out shopping at like four in the morning getting in lineups or something. I don't know. I don't do that. I've never gone Black Friday shopping. <laughs> I could not imagine waiting in a line. Not that long. So what I'm going to do with my dampened brush is I'm just going to blend up and down. And if you need to pick up a little more of your light color, you can do that too. But I'm just blending it in. And it's just going to kind of feather it in. All right. See what I'm talking about? Ooh, that's looking really dark for you guys. It's not so dark for me. I'm going to lighten that up a little more. So I guess you guys weren't out Black Friday shopping. Oh, <laughs> I just, I, I don't understand it. I'm sorry. It must be really good deals. I'm not that patient. I really don't like lineups. And I've never done Cyber Monday shopping, whatever. I've never really got into that now. Brittany does. Brittany usually has a master list of what she needs. Maybe, I don't know. I just never, never got into it. <laughs> All right. So did you have a good Thanksgiving down in the States? Did everybody get their fill of the bird or the ham? I was a little envious last night. I was eating beef stew and I kind of thought, mm, maybe I should have celebrated the American Thanksgiving again. <laughs> Add to Thanksgiving. Okay, some things are limited three to four for the store. Okay, we do have sales like that, and I'm sure we do have big Black Friday sales. I just, I just don't pay attention to it, I guess. And it's so close to Christmas. Maybe that's what they're doing. Is Christmas shopping? I don't know. But it seems like it's usually the things that I've noticed go on sale are like big things like TVs and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know. I just didn't get into it, guys. I'm going to need to activate that just a little more here. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of looking dark for you guys. It's not that dark here. It's got to be the lighting. That's more like it. I don't know why that's showing up so dark for you guys. Okay. The outlet malls were closed due to... Oh my gosh, really? They just got too full. The start of Christmas shopping. Okay, maybe that's my thing is typically I am done my Christmas shopping by now. Or pretty close to it. It's just usually stockings at the end. Um, I usually start shopping in the summer. And it's probably because I don't like those big you know, traffic, waiting in lines. <laughs> now this year I'm doing no Christmas shopping. I am going totally out with the cranks, man. There is no shopping going on for anybody. So right now I'm going in with a light color, like my white here. This is Simplicity. And I'm just going down the center with a little bit. And not a whole lot, guys. Just a tiny bit down the center just because that's where I want the light to look like it's hit okay I'm going to offload that into my little puddle here ok 
Okay. And again, I'm going to feather it. And the more you rub it back and forth, the more it's going to blend in with your other colors. Honestly, I kind of like how this one's right here. It's still staying quite bright, but it's also blended. I love that. Let's see how it looks for you guys. So you kind of see how the looks like the light down the center. So then the depth on the sides is going to make it, you know, a little more dimension. See how this one looks for you guys. There we go. So we're a little lighter in the center again. And that one there looks really streaky for you guys. Well, I guess I see a little bit. see how that one looks. <laughs> you can't see any names. You're just typing away. That's okay. Join in on the chit chat. Leave on our trip. That's, that's my gift for everybody is we have rented a eight bedroom, eight bedroom, no, seven bedroom, eight bathrooms. I think it is. Um, house on Myrtle Beach is what I've done for the family this year. It's the first time we've done that. There we go. That's a little less streaky. And then if you want, you could do some more of the dark even down the edge, okay? Whoops, and I totally scuffed up. Do you see that? I scuffed up my, my wick there, so. I'm just gonna give it a light sanding. It's still a little tacky, so I can touch that up after. Okay, so now that we have the basics done of our candle, Just looking to see if that's how I like it. I'm thinking just a tiny bit more of darkness on this edge here. Just a little bit more. You'll come watch the shop. <laughs> uh, we have the in-laws watching the house. Sorry. Positions filled. <laughs> they have to come. They have to make sure that, you know, um, nothing freezes if the power goes out while you're gone. And they also have to take care of my uh, dog, cat, and bird. So, <laughs> but so sweet of you. <laughs> the coldness would totally get you, Wendy. You'd be back home in no time. <laughs> All right, so I think our candles are looking pretty good. Let's work on our flames next. And then we'll come back and we'll work on all the extra little pieces after that, okay? So for my flames, I'm going to start off with dry mustard. Now, fresh mustard, sorry. It looks like dry mustard color, though. Never. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get away from the cold. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the fresh mustard. I could have done Lumerous, but I want this to look more rustic. So I'm going with the more of a, a dry mustard color. And I'm gonna go all over this. I don't want anything too, too bright and vibrant. So this is just my base coat of color, guys. There we go. Now, where to put the lid? Oh, there it is. Cecilia's 
is with us. Welcome, welcome. All right, now I'm going to go in with red. Now, typically, I always go with cranberry sauce. You guys know that. But it's a little on the pinky side for this project. So this one is called Paint the Town, and it's more on an orangey tinge. And let's see if I can find just a small little... Well, this one's a rounded tip. I would have preferred a flat tip, but... And I'm just going to grab the tiniest bit and I'm going to go in with that. Now, guys, I'm going to share this with you. I am not an artist. <laughs> I'm definitely not an artist. So I'm just winging this. I kind of have a picture in my mind of what I want it to look like, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just here to, you know, inspire creativity. <laughs> We're all our own worst critics, though, aren't we? Set that right down on the other flame. It's almost like play, painting a tulip here. And I should have brought a little thing of water so I could be rinsing my brushes as I go. But it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to take a dry brush now. And I'm going to feather this in a bit. So I want a dry, stiff bristle. And there is my flame. Now, let's see if I've got a rag here just to wipe off some of that because I don't want to bring all that excess over to my next piece. And then again. And I'm using pretty good pressure on this because I'm trying to bring up some of that golden color from underneath and just kind of smudge in that reddish tinge. Now, if you need to, you can add a little more yellow to it, but I think we're looking pretty good there. So it goes from looking pretty shoddy <laughs> and then just blending it up. Now, this one's a little dry. So let's see if I've got a little bit stiffer of a brush here. No, might have let it dry just a tiny bit too long. Let's just take a tiny speck of yellow and try and reactivate some of this. It's all plan and layering. But you've really got to get it just when it's damp still. There we go. So that is my basics for my candle. Are we good with this so far? Do we like this? 
we like this, can you give me some thumbs up or some hearts? Or do you think I'm really off base here? I need some positive reinforcement. <laughs> okay, so those two candles are pretty much done. We're going to set those aside. Next, we have our centerpieces. So you can see on this guy, he's the middle candle. And he has, oops, I got a little bit of red on there. He's got a lot of little pieces here. So first off, he's got this piece here that is going to be glued on there. So you need to decide what you want your base and, yeah, okay, I was double checking. Um, <clears throat> what you want your outline to be of your colors. So I am going with like burgundies and reds and some of my deep shades. So this part here is actually going to be done in black. I think it's going to help it pop. So just to be quick about it, I'm going to grab a pasta. And I'm going to go around all my outside edge with pasta. Just like so. Now I don't think we need to go over the O part because it's going to be a separate piece that's glued on top. How many of you have ordered this piece? We've sold quite a few of these ones. I know Cheryl has ordered it. Cheryl's not with us guys so if y'all want to do a favor if you believe in the power of prayer Cheryl could use some prayer right now. She is gone for surgery. And she is actually probably, what time is it, 4 o'clock? Yep, she's probably just coming out of surgery shortly. So, prayers for quick healing. She'll be watching this afterwards. She already told me she wants lots to see afterwards while she's recovering. So, we're going to load her up with some lives. My daughter's in the house. Welcome, Christina. Not in this house, but in this house. Okay, so there we go. And then we have the frame for the O as well. This is going to look gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we've got the little frame. All right, Christina, away you go, because you'll probably like this one and want to steal this one. <laughs> it's going to match that wreath that you want me to make you. I'm joking. You can hang out with us anytime. For anyone that doesn't know, Christina here is my second oldest daughter. We've got Brittany is my oldest, and this is my second oldest. All right, now for the next part, I'm just gonna set these aside and we are gonna grab our letters. So we have J, O, and Y. And we're gonna paint those in that same color of Paint the Town Red. Why do you think I'm watching that? <laughs> That's my baby. And I'm gonna grab a sponge for this. So just grabbing a makeup sponge. I'm gonna have to give this quick stir. offload a little over here because it's just easier that way and then taking your makeup sponge and it doesn't matter what shape you're using take it before Brittany does this is not Brittany's style you have more of the same uh, style than I do or than uh, Brittany does Brittany is into the fun bright colors and Christina and I are more into the like the rustic the naturals I think although she loves her leopard prints Leopard and Cheetah Prince is her jam. All right, so there's my base. I'm going to have to go over this two times because the wood is soaking in this color.
stick Nikki on there, she'll take it. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. If this would have said Disney instead of Joy, she would have been, like, all over it. I wouldn't have even got to do it live. So you saw that I, I shared, um, or that I put out the, is it Dopey or Doc or who was it that I put on the round? It wasn't my file. I didn't make it. Um, we bought that file, but um, it was one of Snow White's um, Seven Dwarfs. Grumpy. Okay, see, I was totally wrong. Um, and I said, I might do that one live because I never do a Disney one. And she was like, no, mom, that's mine. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I don't get a chance to do that stuff. She'd be afraid I painted the wrong color. <laughs> Is that one on your list, Wendy? All right, so we got our base coat down, but I do need to darken it up. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a second here. And then we're going to do another coat over it. Hi, Valerie. Welcome, welcome. I thought that one was so cute. With the go ho, ho, ho. Okay. So let's take a little more. Just going to do it all over again. Now, if you find with chalk paint that you get a little texture and you don't want the texture, after you've done your two coats, you can hit it with the sandpaper and kind of just knock it down a bit. Oh, your sister wants one too. Yeah, it was a very cute one. So when you say your sister wants one, do you have to paint it for her or does she craft as well? Personally, I think when you buy our kits, the best part of it is getting to create it. I know some people want to buy them already done. I've had a few people message me about that. Um, but I don't know. I, th I think the making it is the fun part. tree ornaments we've done a couple actually I made Benjamin one already Christina shows you how well you follow along okay she crafts but she doesn't paint yeah I think I think doing the painting is is the fun part of it getting to do that creative part of it but it's not everybody's jam I get that There we go. That should be a nice deep color. Much more depth to that. All right. I am wondering about shadowing, but I think I'll leave it. Next, let's go for... I'm going to go for dark colors while my fingers are dirty. And then I'll go back to my, my wax afterwards. <laughs> crocheting. That takes a skill of its own. I'm not, I'm not a crocheter, but it's too fine, tiny. I don't know. It looks beautiful. I love some crocheted doilies. My grandmother used to make tons of them. Um, but, and I would love some for crafting, like even just like strips of crochet or something like that. I wish my grandmother was around for that still. Um, that would be fun to add to pieces. Almost like pieces of lace, but crocheted would be absolutely perfect. That's what you need to get her to make you. Um, or doilies that you can, you know, although it's a lot of work, you hate to cut a hole in one of them to do crafting, but often you need to cut a hole and kind of lay it over something, right? 
Oh, she's still working on Easter. Yeah, because it's such a long project. All right, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my light brown with Posca on my pine cones. And then I'm going to grab a darker brown. Actually, that might be the same brown. Let's grab the end of a popsicle stick here. Yeah, that's the same brown. Where's my dark? There's a dark chocolate. And I'm just going to go in and kind of darken up some of it. It's got all the score lines. I'm not going to go in every score line, but I'm just going to kind of add some depth. I actually need to go out and go pine cone collecting. Christina, if you're still in here, we're like, you have to make forever. That's true, too. Um, Christina, if you're still in here, do you know anywhere out that way that has a lot of pine trees? I need to go pine tree, pine cone searching for crafts. I need itty bitty ones. And we have two big pine trees on our property. But they're not putting out much pine cones. I don't know what's wrong with them. And when they do, they're not right for my crafting. <laughs> I was thinking about going down to, um, uh, what's it called? Limerick Forest area. I know there's lots of pine cones in there. That's where I used to go, but it's a little bit of a drive from here. So it's just dots and dashes, really. I'm not doing a full coverage here. Kind of hitting the corners a little more to make it pronounced. But this way, if you go out of the lines, it's not that big of a deal either because it's pine cone. Okay. So it just adds a little bit of depth in there. A little more darkness on that side. There we go. Isn't that cute? The nerve of those trees. I know. So to Chris, they're ugly trees. Like they're not pretty pine trees. Like they're massive and they're spindly and they're they're ugly. And I'm like, they don't even serve their purpose. <laughs> Sure, maybe they clean the air or something, you know, but I'm a crafter. I need the pine cones. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go in with that same green that I used for my base, wherever I put it, just up there. And that's what I'm going to do my little pine branches in. So let's see what brush or sponge. Actually, I could just use the other end of my red sponge. That'll be best. Looking good. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry for a second and then I'm going to go back in there with hopefully a. I'm looking for. I have some really crappy brushes, for lack of a better word. I want one that's flared out more. Here's one that I don't like. Let's flare it out a little more. Like this is like a cheapy dollar store brush. Ooh, or. That's even better. My stippling brush for when I used to do stencils. Okay. So I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of green. And I don't want it thick, so I'm going to spread it out on my table. I'm just stippling the same color green on and it's just going to give me a little bit of darker spots. Or if you have another shade of a darker green, you could do that. But you 
can kind of tell. I don't know if you guys can see it on there. No, it's looking pretty, pretty normal with that lighting. But some of it is soaked into the wood, and then with the stippling, it's giving that second coat, so it's a little, you know, a little bit more depth to it. Okay, so that goes on the front. So that means I need to clean up this hot mess now, and we'll go back to working on wax. So let's get all this out of the way here. And we'll take our wax brushes again. That one, that one. Not those ones. Not that one. I have to watch the video again to see which color I used on what. <laughs> okay. Let's throw these in the garbage here. That one totally hit the floor and now I've got to clean up red paint off the floor. If my husband's watching, I do apologize. Ooh. Okay. The wonderful thing about chalk paint is it cleans up really easily. There we go. And then I can just throw the rag in the laundry. Okay, so let's bring back our candles. And take a look at our waxes. So I know these guys are going in the background. And my third fellow is over here. He's going to stand out a little bit more in front. But I want to keep an eye on where I've darkened up on my... I've done it pretty even on these. But I've got to kind of think about where the light is going to be hitting on my candle from the room or from the light of the other ones. So I imagine that this side is going to be dark and it's going to move lighter. So I'm going to have to go darker on the outside edges of my wax. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to set those out of the way, but I can still peek at them if I wanted to. And let's grab that crinoline color to start off with. Now again, we have that smoky residue, which is fine because let's be honest, candle wax never looks perfect after it's melted. These would also be really pretty in a burgundy candle that's melted. And then you could have highlights on it would really show up nicely. So just getting our base color down. So what's the plan for the weekend? Anita's here. Welcome. What is the plan for the weekend, guys? Anybody got plans? My daughter, or my granddaughter, Adriana, Brittany's daughter, she's going to be in a Santa Claus parade tomorrow in Brockville. I'm hoping to get to that. It's going to be a nighttime one, so that should be cool. That would be my second one this year. But other than that, I think I'm just crafting. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some of that darker shade, which we called Road Trip. And I'm going to go down my edges. So I'm just going to hit the side of all my little drips. And then you might want just a couple little spots coming down. Maybe a little bit up there. Let that dry for a little bit and then I'll come in and I will dry brush it again. So again, a little down the side, 
down each of my drips. Can you guys hear Maya giggling in the background? Crafting and decorating. That's what I should be doing. Today is a PA day at our schools. So we've got the kids home. That's why you can hear Maya in the background. Um, but typically, all through history of us, we would have gone to my sister's place when mom was around. And it would have been our cookie decorating day. I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, oh, what should we do today? And I was like, oh, this used to be our cookie decorating day. All right, so I'm going to blend. This brush is still a little damp, which is okay. Need that stiffer brush. Not too bad. It's not perfect, but let's see if I add a little more light in there. Do you guys like blending colors or is that intimidating for you? Does it make you nervous or do you enjoy doing it? I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good there. These ones on the end here are just looking a little harsh for me. I'm just going to take some playing around. Make sure you're using your not good paint brushes when it comes to this kind of blending. I'm like almost dragging my finger through it on the bristle to keep it stiff because it's not quite stiff enough for me. And then it got away. Mm. Hi, Karen. There we go. I'm liking that better. really need a stiffer brush. I wonder about that stippling brush. That might be the way to go. <gasps> Except for it's got green. Baby wipes. It's got green on it from stippling, guys. Hot mess there. That makes my wax look funky. Let's wipe that off. Cross that aside. <laughs> uh, it's frustrating when you make silly mistakes like that. Alice is here. Welcome, welcome. You must have jumped off because I saw Kelly's crafts earlier. How's that looking? It's funny. It's looking a little lighter up there for you guys. And I don't see that there. 
That is strange how it does that with the lighting. I will darken it up though. Because if it's picking it up for you guys, it's going to pick it up when I take photos after too. That's pretty good. There we go. Actually, I like how that turned out really well. I'm going to do the other edge too. There we go. All right, one last one to go. Maybe it's the baby wipe technique I'm going to use most. bit of darkness there. Maybe a little bit right there. It is. I do like the baby wipe technique best. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm more of a finger painter. I seem to have more control that way. go. Lid. Okay. Whoa. That was a messy drip. All right. So now we are at the put it all together stage. You told me that you were going live, but I was crafting and totally forgot. No worries. We are not done. So what we have so far is, oops, let me get that puddle out of the way. What are you crafting today? Okay, so there is our back, no, that's our front one. These are our back ones. And we have so much stuff on the table here. And then this will be our front one. Okay. So I got another plan. Let me turn on my hot glue here. Because I was thinking that these back two could use some buffalo plaid. Now I'm going to want it to wrap totally around. Oh, I wish I would have painted the back first though. Maybe I'll just have to put a little spot so I can peel it off after and paint the backs. Okay. And is that going to be the same width for this one? Because it overlaps? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'll cut two of those. going to want to go in because if I put this on a table it'd still be nice to have the backs painted as well I think unless I just put it on my on my shelf I don't have a mantle that's where I'd really love this you did a wood garland a big chalk couture piece one of your silver white winters cut out oh cool I want pictures later make sure you share pictures okay so let's see, is this glue gun hot yet? Nope. Okay, well, while we're waiting for that to heat up, we will go ahead and put our, put our wax drops on. So that one goes on that guy. You can kind of tell by, it's got the long swoop here. This one's got the long swoop. They all line up to a certain one.
There we go. Doesn't that add to it? My flame's not perfect. I'm going to have to work on my wick as to where my... Well, it's not bad. I don't know. I think my wick could use some work. I might have to think about that one. And this guy, he fits on this one. just like so. This makes me think of Lumiere. Here we go. There's my Disney moment. It makes me think of Lumiere. Maybe a dark spot where the wick meets the flame. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Either in like a, what do you think? More like a burgundy in there. Just something small. A wine color maybe. It might look too weird. I can paint over it if I don't like it. Nope, I do kind of like that. So I'm just taking my Posca and I'm smudging while it's wet. See, even my second oldest is crafty. There we go. So we added some depth down there. Can you guys see that? I don't know if Poscas were meant to be a, a smudger or not, but it works as long as it's going on wet. There we go. So we add some more depth down there, maybe a little bit going up the side. Don't want it to be too straight, right? Yeah, I like that. Good idea, Christina. Christina's our hairdresser of the family. So she's still creative. She's also a, a drawer. There we go. Okay, Christina was thinking brown. Now I'm avoiding the browns. Okay. So we've got one more drippy wax to put on top. Just like so. Hi Linda, welcome. Linda Sawyer is here with us. Okay. And then we can go ahead with these guys here. Glue is still not dripping. I wonder if I've got the button not hit yet. Excuse me. Got a tickle. Just set them right into place. And hopefully I didn't squeeze them at all. Because we've got to get those other pieces to pop in there as well. So before that sets up too much, let's drop our J. And you're going to want to make sure that when you painted these that you didn't paint that edge. Otherwise it will not pop back in there, guys. So there's our J. You can hear I just drag the tip because I don't want it to pool really. Is Serpy's right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I got a little glue there that's going to be shiny. I'm going to have to touch that up. Okay, so there we are so far. Now, this next piece, 
I gotta be honest, it's gonna make me a little nervous. I'm thinking I might glue it together first and then drop it into place. So I'm gonna put a little glue just on the inside of my O. Just in a couple of spots here. And then I'm gonna try and try and get that right in there. Oh, it did have space to spare. Okay. It would have been fine. Now I've probably made it more difficult for myself. I just figured that center piece was probably going to be hard because you've got to lay it down pretty much all at the same time to get it lined up. And I probably should have had a little buffalo plaid behind there maybe too. Okay, so we're going to set that down quickly, drop that in quickly, and then align it up. Yep, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Trial and error, right? And then there goes my frame. Okay. So I could have put buffalo plaid in behind too so that it would have the same pattern. But I think with this having that same colors, it's going to be okay. I am going to touch up that black though. I've rubbed my fingers on it so many times. It's not as bright there. Smudges of the glue. So there we go. Isn't that cute? And it all lines up really well. I just might want to touch up this edge after either with sandpaper, probably with sandpaper and just sand that down. Just cause you've got that little bit of a white in there as well. Okay, now these guys, let's line this up as to how it's gonna stand. Okay, so I'm thinking Right about there. Christina, you might have to fight me for this one. I'm liking it. <laughs> might have to make you your second one. And if I put it on my shelf, then I don't have to worry about painting the back anyways. All right. So there is one done. Make sure it's not sticking down to my table. So let's line these guys up. I want it to be pretty level. Mamma Mia. <laughs> Ooh, Leopard Print Joy. Yes. We could, oh my gosh, I could so do that. I might have to do this project again. I could so do that with a decoupage napkin. Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is what I will do. It could be OMG. Okay, Christina. OMG, my goodness. Okay, I have 
just a little wide. Okay, first of all, I have cheetah print in the grays and black. Hi, Christy. Um, and this would go really pretty on there, but I would have to cut it in a strip. That could be done. Or I think I have a napkin almost identical to that. And it could go on there, and then the letters could be done in the napkin. So got to do that. <laughs> that would be too cool. Okay, I think we are pretty much done, other than we need our cute little... Let's stand it up in the stand. Let's glue our stand together first. So I went ahead and I painted the stand. Now I do want this to be rustic, so I'm going to take, not that one. Where's Madison? I have a, a 120 grit. Where is it? There it is. I've got a heavier grit sandpaper here, and I just want to stuff up a few corners. I'm trying to sand it back to the raw wood, guys. Just on a few corners. So I did the upper edge, and now I'm doing a couple spots on the lower edge as well. Okay. Now, to make that show up better, where to put the baby wipe? I'm going to take a baby wipe and just wipe back those corners just to see if I've done it well enough. Well, could go a little more there. No, that's pretty good. Get all our dust off there. Christina says she loves that idea. So which is it going to be? Black and gray cheetah print or the more of the gold and black and tan? I think you're more of the tan, but I might be wrong. I have so much paint on the, or glue on that fingertip now. <laughs> All right, so you can kind of see I've scuffed up some edges there just to make it look a little more vintage. We're going to set up our candles. They just stand right in there. Provided I didn't get too much paint in the holes. What do you think? Is that cute or what? And then we still have our little thingy here to put on, so. I think right there. Well, he popped out, but. I love this. So, so cute. What do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? I feel like I'm tooting my own horn, but I absolutely love that. Okay, so now let's grab our itty bitty fork. Let's 
scoot you out of the way. I have to do this video for you guys still of my fork bows. And I haven't got a chance to do that yet, but I will do that for you. Hopefully soon. Oops, I lost my tail. It's really not that complicated. I'm making this seem harder than it is. I have to toot my own horn. It feels wrong. It feels wrong. Definitely feels wrong. Put that pipe right down there. And I'm going to dovetail that so it'll stop unraveling. It's a little too thin to fold in half, so I'm freehanding it. Okay, a little dot of hot glue. How's that? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, if you want, you could glue those in place because they are, you know, they do move. Okay. But here's my thought, and I'm going to tell you this because I wouldn't hot glue it. <laughs> Men toot their own horn all the time. Oh, I know they should. They shouldn't, but they do. <laughs> okay. So here's my reason why I don't want to glue that into place. If you're anything like me, when you're packing away your Christmas decor, it's much easier to just pop them out and lay them flat and store them away like that in like a little bag or something as opposed to trying to put them away in the stand-up position because they're going to break. That's, that's my thoughts. If you pack anything like me, I might throw, you know, tea towels in between and, you know, soft decorations like that, but it just packs away much better the other way. So... That's our project. That color goes really nice with my sweater. I did not plan that. So I hope you guys liked this. I don't know if you guys want to watch me when I do uh, Christina's sometime of cheetah print or not. But uh, maybe I'll do that one as a YouTube video. But that is today's project. And I think it's adorable. You could also put a little greenery around the bottom. I don't, well, I have a little bit of, you know, if you were doing a display, you could have greenery around the bottom and stuff. Super cute. Oh, my brother-in-law is on here. Hello, Dylan. But that's today's project, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I better go get back to work. <laughs> Otherwise, no one's going to have orders. And I'm sure you want to get your hands on this one. So until next time, love y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're following the page. Um, so you get notifications. Also, you could go on our text line if you want to get the text. Oh, thanks, Annette. Here's our text. Nope, that's not our text. That's our text. Oh, goodness. It doesn't want to put it. Oh, there it is. There is the phone number that you can um, just text your name to, and you can be on our text line. You like it with the greenery? I'm really not... I'm not good at displaying the, the greenery. Greenery, like floral stuff is not my jam. I love it. I look at it and I'm like, wow, that's gorgeous. I just have a hard time setting it up. But you guys know that. That's what I got Brittany for. She does all that kind of finishing touches for me and displaying stuff. I can make it cute, but then I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I, need, I, need a, I need somebody to come and work for me and just display stuff for me. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, though, I love you all. Thanks for following. Um, there's the text line if you want to get the text alerts because Facebook doesn't always put them out. Um, but until next time, be creative. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.